Yo, what is going on guys? It is Charizard, also known as AAA Drifting, and today we're making a video on the Blockchain Emporium. So I'm sure there's a lot of new players excited to get into the game, you know, as well as some new players that may even be playing. Uh, but in case some of you guys are confused on how to buy or sell some of your items, we're going to try and go over that today and uh, we're going to try and sort all that out. So this building here is called the Royal Emporium. You know, this is where you can buy and sell your virtual items as well as your blockchain items. So there's a tab on the top left and you can interchange between virtual and blockchain. So for the sake of this video, we're going to actually switch over to blockchain. Now, as I scroll through, um, you guys will notice some of the prices are, you know, a little bit higher. It says 3600 for example, for this Azure Remnant. Now, the prices of all of these items is in a currency called Shadow Stones. And the way Shadow Stones work is 100 Shadow Stones is equivalent to one engine. So that's really important that you guys remember that because the whole currency that we're buying and selling in is Shadow Stones. And you're gonna have to keep that in mind that again, 100 Shadow Stones is equivalent to one engine. So for example, this sells at 3,600 Shadow Stones. That's 36 engine. You know, another good example would be this Ardanium cookie at 691 shadow stones. So that's 6.91 engine and so on and so forth. So, I mean, it's really cool because a lot of these items you could actually find in a given adventure or you'd have to buy off someone else. Um, but you at least have the option to do that here at the Royal Emporium. So now I'm sure a lot of you may be confused. You know, how do you actually get these shadow stones and upload them to your account? So if you are playing Lost Relics and you're already logged in, um, you're going to have to have your engine account already hooked up. So you're going to want to go on your phone, go to your engine wallet. You're going to want to click on the engine icon in your engine wallet. Once you've clicked on it, there's going to be three dots on the top right, and it's going to say move to Genj. So once you have an engine balance, you're going to want to move that over to Genj. Now keep in mind that let's say you're exchanging over 50 engine, but you want to exchange another 150 engine in the near future. You may want to just wait and exchange over the full amount at one time because it is one flat fee. You know, you do have to pay a gas fee when you're exchanging your eng to genj. Um, it's not much, but there is a small fee. And once you've paid that fee, you know, then there's not going to be any more fees along that sort of way. So just you know, keep that in mind. Make sure you have the full amount that you're ready to transfer over before you do it. Um, once you have transferred it over and you have your Genj in your wallet, you're going to click on this red icon in game at the top. A button's going to come up. It's going to say buy shadow stones. You'll then be able to buy shadow stones based on how much Genj you have. So it's basically that simple. You know, let's say you transferred over 100 Genj. You then type in the number that you have. I, of course, have zero. But if you had a balance, it would then come up. You then click buy shadow stones and your balance would update, um, you know, depending on what you have. You know, next thing you'd want to do is go back into the Royal Emporium, sort of scan for different items, depending on what you're looking for. There's a tab on the bottom left where you can sort through rarities. So you can sort from common all the way up to transcendent, uh, which is the rarest type of weapon that you can get. These things are crazy rare and we uh, we almost never see them drop. You know, these things drop like once every couple months based on what I've seen from my four months playing. So these are uh, these are a super rare drop to get. But you could sort by that. You could also sort by names. And again, you have the search bar on the very top if you're looking for a specific item. Um, I think one last thing I do want to touch on is uh, so let's take this, for example, the Aberdo Artesian Water. It sells at under 100 shadow stones. Now the way the market works is there's a minimum requirement to buy or sell at 100 shadow stones. So for an item like this, or for any other item that sells for less than 100 shadow stones, you'd have to have a minimum quantity of two. So for example, I'm gonna show you now. Let's say I only have one and I'm trying to sell this. It won't let you click on the sell button because this is it's only worth 58 shadow stones and that's 0.58 engine but the minimum requirement is one engine right so because i have more than one i'm going to type in two 
and I can now have the option to sell this if I want to. Right, so now I can click sell. It's gonna confirm that, you know, my price per item is 0.58, but because I'm selling two, you know, 0.58 plus 0.58 is over one engine. So we're good to create that sale. So keep that in mind for items that do sell for less than 100 shadow stones. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're either going to want to wait till you accum uh, accumulate a little bit more of those items, or you're going to want to buy a couple more in order to sell. So what I mean by that is, let's say, let's take the Ardane Blossoms, for example. These are 34 Shadow Stones. You know, let's say we only have one. Well, we can't sell one because they only, the price is 34. But if we had three, see, we can't even sell three, it's 98. But if we had four, our price is 131 that we could get. So we'd be able to sell four. So what you then have to do is you'd have to say, okay, well, I want to sell my blossoms. So now what I have to do is because I only have one, I now have to buy three more. So now you can create the buy order. And then if it filled, you know, you'd have four and then you can post your four for whatever price. So that's just like a, sh a small little short fix on if you do have an item that's less than 100 shadow stones, you know, and, and like if you are like in a rush or you want to buy, you want to buy something, but you want to sell that, you know, that's sort of like the only way you can get around that. Um, otherwise, you're going to have to be patient, you know, try and just loot a little bit more of that item. Um, maybe you'll even need to hand it in in the future. But yeah, that's uh, that's really it, guys. You know, other than that, it's it's really just a matter of having fun with it, you know, understanding the market, learning some of the prices. And uh, you can definitely you can definitely make a good buck, you know, just from buying, selling, going in adventures, getting lucky. There's lots of different ways, guys, to have fun with this game. So I really hope this short video helped. And uh, if you guys have any questions or if there's anything that maybe I didn't touch on specifically and you guys would like to see it in the near future, definitely let me know in the comments and uh, I'll be sure to check that out. So don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. And uh, if you're not following my Twitch stream, hit that up because I'm live almost every day. Okay, twitch.tv slash AAA drifting. Peace, guys.